James Davenport says he still remembers every single detail from the night he learned his brother had been killed. And since that day, he has not stopped fighting, not only for his brother, but for other victims of hit and runs. I'm always saying something to make somebody laugh or smile. And in the end, I let them know why. James Davenport has dedicated the last nine years of his life to his older brother. My brother was the type that people said that he could charm a snake. And you know, and when you're looking at his picture, you know, he just had that natural smile. On December 13th, 2013, a car struck Joseph Davenport Sr. while he walked home at Columbia Drive and Casa Linda Drive in DeKalb County. Davenport says the driver ran a red light and hit his brother who was in a crosswalk. He died at the scene and police have not found the driver. When I got here, I see the crime scene tape and I approached to go up under the crime scene tape. Police officer told me I could not access that area. And I said, well, you don't understand. As my brother's shoe, my brother's shoe was right at that curve style. Davenport says he and his brother were about a year apart in age and inseparable. He was an army veteran and a loving father. On Monday, loved ones gathered to celebrate what would have been the day after his 65th birthday. Lord, thank you for bringing us together today, Father God, to honor one of your kings, one of your angels. That Since you that December evening, Davenport has worked on behalf of his brother. He pushed the city of Atlanta and DeKalb County to pass proclamations declaring December 13th Hit and Run Pedestrian Victims Awareness Day. He's also launched a foundation called the Hit and Run Help Foundation to make sure victims are not forgotten and to help provide money to their families. It's just so important that you know these people just understand that by them having a total disregard for human life, there is somebody still who cares for these people. Unfortunately, Davenport says two of his brother's son committed suicide after his death, but he says all of this tragedy has only fueled his desire to make a difference in this community. In DeKalb County, Janice Yu, Fox 5 News.